CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Why is the nucleus subluxated? Look, there's a gap seen here, and it's really worrying you. Let me show you the case here. So starting off, sitting superior, look at that nucleus edge there. You see the edge of the nucleus. Why? What's going on here? Now, doing an MSICS procedure, I like that idea in a case like this. Big, dense cataract. It looks to be not so stable. What do you think is going on here? So while the surgeon does the pretty me here, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material. Free PDF book about how to learn cataract surgery. A whole series uh, called Curriculum to Learn How to Do Cataract Surgery, including MSICS. So yes, you American colleagues, you better learn how to do MSICS. Let me show you here. Making that incision here. Here's a crescent-type blade, making an incision here, widening that up. And look how long the tunnel length is here. That tunnel length is what allows this SICS incision to seal up so nicely. And remember, it's trapezoidal, so a little wider on the interior than it is on the exterior. And now, wow, look at that nucleus. What do you think is going on here? Have you figured it out yet? What's the answer to the quiz? Someone, tell me. All right, another paracentesis. What's the answer to our quiz? Now, do you put tripan blue dye in or not? Well, I guess we do. Is it going to go through that gap there? What's going to happen here? Is there bad zonular support? Is there some zonulopathy here? Did you just stain the vitreous? Let's find out. What do you think is going on here? Is it really a subluxated cataract or is it something masquerading as a subluxated cataract? What do you think? Maybe, check it out. Let's start the rexus here. Open the capsule bag. Let's see what's going on in the bag. And so I'll give you a hint here. Patient got some chronic phacolytic glaucoma. Phacolytic glaucoma. Think about that. What's happening with the lens? Maybe you liquefied all the cortex. Maybe this is a Morgagnian cataract with chronic phacolytic glaucoma masquerading as a subluxated cataract. There you go. So now you could put a CTR in here, but you know, may not even need the CTR. Maybe no downside. So put the CTR here. Oh, flip that up. Oh, you just broke the CTR. Okay, wait. Now you know what? You don't need it anyway. Don't worry about it. Look, that's the whole nucleus. The design support's fine. So there's the nucleus. Get this thing up. Let's get this thing delivered. There's the nucleus. It looks like a morgagnine type cataract where all the liquefied lens cortex was kind of absorbed or released from the bag. And now you've got this loose nucleus kind of floating inside a big capsular bag. Oh, look at that. The lens going in first. Look at that trick. IOL going in first underneath the nucleus. Okay, let's get that nucleus out, though. Let's deliver this baby. Now we've got two lenses in the eye, a cataract and an IOL. So dialing up that nucleus. Yep, get it up, up, up. There it is. Now it's free. Now we can get that expressed from the eye. There's some viscoelastic to push it out. Boom, deliver that baby. The eyeball's already in. Nicely done. Just need to clean up some of that uh, lens cortex. You may want to go behind that lens. There you go. Now dialing it in. Get that lens right in there. So you got a nice IOL in the eye. And now let's take out the rest of the viscoelastic and that lens material. By manual approach works too. Make sure you get under that optic. That's the way. Under that optic. Get all that gunky stuff out here. Beautiful case. So I'm glad you like the cataract quizzes. They're fun to do. Always a good learning experience. If you want to see even more of them on cataractcoach.com, the website, you can actually click on complete list of uh, videos and it will say quiz. And you can have the entire series and library of quizzes, like hundreds of them. And you can go through them all. It really is a great test of your knowledge. So cleaning this up more. Now what's going on back there? Is why, why is there still some opacity? What's the opaque stuff back there? You think perhaps it's a scarred capsule? What do you guys think it is? Put a comment below. I'm not sure. I don't. It, it's a little bothersome to me that it's not totally clear. I don't know where all that gunky stuff back there is. I'd like that out of the eye. If it's a scarred capsule, I guess we can always do a YAG later. But interesting case. Hey, please leave your comments below while the surgeon here finishes up this case. And remember, check out our cataractcoach.com podcast. All podcast services, Apple, Amazon, Spotify, Google, anywhere you find podcasts, check it out. You will love it.